Hi, in this video I'll show you how to set up Fast Company on your uh, Algonquin profile. Uh, the first step is to find the Fast Company software. So if you click on the Start uh, menu, go to Office and Legal Software, then Do Process Software, then Fast Company, you'll find the relevant uh, shortcuts little bit of a life hack tip here. Uh, when I open up a session uh, using my Algonquin profile, I like to right click on Fast Company, the one with the orange uh, triangular uh, seal next to it, and send to desktop as shortcut. That way if I ever need to exit uh, and uh, go back into Fast Company, I can do that relatively quickly without going through all of these menu items or all of these folders and subfolders. Uh, so if it's your first time using Fast Company, you'll actually need to run this uh, first link up here, Fast Company with the, the little gears next to it. Uh, that is a bat file which will uh, run the setup process for you and set up Fast Company on your Algonquin user account. You only need to do this once and I've already done it. Uh, so I'm not going to do it here, uh, but you should be able to do it uh, quite easily. Uh, but once you've done it once, don't do it anymore. Uh, the reason for this is if you do the process more than once, uh, you might uh, cause some technical issues and, and cause the program to crash and lose data later on. Uh, so just be very careful to do this only once. The next step is to uh, start Fast Company once you've completed the setup process. Alright, so there's no uh, technical issues in opening up Fast Company now. Uh, you may have some issues though. Uh, one uh, technical issue is uh, if you try to open Fast Company or run Fast Company as an admin user, that may uh, cause errors. So make sure that you're not running it as an administrator, you're just running it uh, as a, a normal user. Uh, the uh, other thing is it might if you do get an error message and it's not because you're running as administrator you may need to rename one of your files so go to the end drive where the fast company folder has been set up uh, and of course you need to exit fast company before you do this so exit fast company then go to the end drive and remove this hyphen and instead put in an underscore um, and uh, normally most students don't need to do this but if you're having error messages, this might be a quick fix. Um, in my case, I don't get error messages, so I'm going to put the hyphen back. And then I can run Fast Company again without issue.